Now, it's never fun to imagine the numerous and creative ways in which we might meet our maker. But it seems as though we humans are quite simply hell-bent on doing just that, as rapidly as possible even. From all the fun stuff like global warming to nuclear war, here are 20 ways the world might end. Number 20. Electricity. How long could we survive without it? Every moment of every day is driven by your insatiable need to have electricity. From when you wake up in the morning until you close your eyes in the evening, and even while you sleep, electricity is fueling your very existence. In fact, right now, you're using it to watch this video. And when the power goes out during a storm or some other seemingly catastrophic event, the first thing we do is groan or panic or complain about being in the dark the very second it happens. Most times, we simply convince ourselves that it will be back on soon enough, maybe Maybe light a candle and just generally use the quiet time to write, read, or do things that are outside the reaches of the internet or a screen. But in reality, what if the world has no electricity for 15 years? Exactly how long would you be able to live without TikTok or Instagram or any other app that grinds down your intelligence and causes your brain cells to plummet before you go into an insane and murderous rage? How long could you survive without spending $9 on some coffee or being able to swipe left and right in your vain quest for love that's never going to happen unless you get off the couch and actually head out to socialize? The answer, for the majority of the population, is probably about an hour before you go absolutely nuts and then decide to go on a purge-style rampage in an attempt to make sense of how insignificant you suddenly realize that your influencer-styled life had become. But then again, I'm just a cynical old man spouting off words on the YouTubes. Don't mind me. Before we go on, like this video smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Could an asteroid actually destroy the Earth? How do you believe that the dinosaurs all died off? Was it some cataclysmic event? Perhaps they ran out of food. Maybe they all lost electricity and murdered each other. Or perhaps it was aliens. Now, despite the fact that the Earth is round and an asteroid would have no doubt took a huge chunk out of it, setting it off its axis and throwing it into an uncontrollable wobbling state of chaos, hurtling through space and causing it to likely crash into another planet, one of the more common and plausible beliefs is that the dinosaurs were actually wiped out by a giant asteroid asteroid. What would be the consequences though? Many of the biggest nerds in the world, who are also sometimes called scientists, believe that this event did happen, and if it were to happen again, it would take out a lot of lives. It's theorized that such an event would trigger massive earthquakes, disasters, Starbucks to crumble, the servers of TikTok to fail, chaos storms, volcanic eruptions, sharknadoes, and climate catastrophes, amongst other various things, could take out about 75% of all living beings. Along with it, basic life, needs, and perhaps most importantly, to the vital survival of people on Earth, the internet, which would surely change us all into Lord of the Fly scenarios in no time. Number 18. Did a deadly gamma ray burst cause a mass extinction event on Earth? Next up, we have an entirely different set of researchers who actually think that it was a giant gamma ray that took out most of the life on the planet and caused a mass extinction event. Is this because they can't believe that giant speeding balls in space would take us all out? Or perhaps it may have been both events combined. Either way, some would suggest that a giant gamma ray could beam through the universe and destroy everything as we know it. A gamma ray is considered a giant catastrophic explosion that may have actually happened within the last billion years a number that nobody could actually fathom or even begin to understand how big it really is. Yet scientists do love to arbitrarily throw it out there in terms of years because it seems grandiose and awe-inspiring and it makes you feel really smart if you can proclaim it, while making everyone else feel dumb for not being able to comprehend it. Number 17. How Vacuum Decay Could End the Universe 
When I was a child, one of the worst chores I had to complete was that of running the vacuum. Not only that, but the aftermath of having to use said vacuum on every room of the house, which in those days consisted of wall-to-wall -wall shag carpeting, inevitably saw me having to change the vacuum bag. This process would always end up being messy, throwing dirt and dust all over the place, and dishing out a lot of frustration to my already cumbersome and torturous Saturday afternoon. And when I hear the term vacuum decay, it's literally all that I can think of. This mundane repeating of chores week in and week out where I was forced to engage in a cycle of sweeping and dusting and mopping and polishing. But to scientists and incels, vacuum decay is something so much different and it's theorized that it might be what leads to the mass extinction event that could ruin our entire universe. Basically, vacuum decay will cause a bubble of broken physics to shoot through the universe at light speed, which if that's the case, none of us will even have time to know what's going on or even react to it. And so, in the end, it doesn't really matter, and none of us will be left here to find out if it's actually true. Number 16. Tiny black holes could trigger collapse of universe, except that they don't. Black holes are a great mystery to scientists, astronomers, and amateur astronaut wannabes. Nobody really knows what they do, how they function, or what happens to all of the stuff that gets sucked into them, and it's long been theorized that they could actually lead to a different dimension. Imagine them much like a whirlpool, and when you do, instead of the general marine detritus of dead wood, broken oars, and your drunken uncle's pontoon boat after a bender fishing trip with his buddies from Vietnam being sucked into it, think about the entire planet, its neighbors, and basically every Everything that you can see when you look up into the sky just all suddenly being swallowed into an unknown oblivion. Now there's a lot of words and phrases that eggheads like to use like Higgs boson, quantum energy fields, vacuum instability, and more, all of which is really rather boring and above my pay grade. So if you do enjoy such things and sitting around thinking about the possibilities of doomsday events, feel free to look it up for yourself. Number 15. Could a solar storm ever destroy Earth? Every day that you walk on this planet, you depend upon the sun for the vital energy and nutrients that keep everyone on this spinning ball of humanity alive. Without it, we would all be one giant frozen block of ice, a few inches this way or that, and we would be immersed in complete and total darkness. So it should come as no surprise that if a solar storm ever took place, it would have the potential to totally black out the sun, which would drive temperatures way down, take away our main source of natural vitamin D, and make everyone perpetually depressed. In addition to a storm blacking out the sun, scientists also think of this situation as one that would cause solar flares and radiation surges that would hurtle at the Earth at millions of miles per second. So again, it becomes another scenario where we would never even see it coming, never realize that it was actually happening, and we would all be dead before we could even care. But even so, some do still find some kind of perverse satisfaction in coming up with the grandiose theories about it all, and they get their jollies from conceiving every possibility for our impending doom. Number 14. Will geomagnetic pole reversal effects cause a worldwide blackout? NASA has done a lot of fascinating things in its history, sending people into space, researching the moon, and even making great trendy merchandise that hipsters just love to wear all over the show. And now, in addition to their typical NASA spacey type stuff, they've come up with a new theory about how the world may just come to a catastrophic end. Now, apparently, the Earth is chock full of liquid in its core, much like Gushers candy. That same liquid creates some kind of current that apparently projects the Earth with an invisible ghost shield that holds back cosmic rays and solar activity. This is a so-called magnetic field, and NASA says that many times this field has caused some flips in the poles, and despite it happening many times before, the next one may just destroy the Earth and kill us all. But who can say how many times that they've already said that it would happen? It happened, and then nothing happened, and so on and so forth. The flipping of the poles happens about every half million years, and that we're all due for a good one. These flips can alter the magnetic field, causing animals to go crazy and become confused, electronics to stop working, and compass needles to go mind-bendingly out of control. And the last thing that any hipster is going to want is for their social media to be dysfunctional during a time when all they would be able to think about is how they could have been trending if science hadn't been such a bastard. Oh, woe unto you who have no lives. Number 13. Volcanoes killed with global warming 200 million years ago. 
Scientists say that there have been five major extinction events in the history of our planet, which makes you wonder who decides these kind of things. I mean, if you take a hundred people and you have five major so-called extinction events, how many people would actually be left over after the fifth one? There weren't always billions of people on the planet, you know. Anyways, all practicalities aside, we now move on to volcanoes and their eruptions. an actual physical thing that we can see and we do know takes place. When a volcanic eruption takes place, it can spew gases, lava, and other elements out all over the place. It can destroy homes, nearby villages, and it brings a lot of heat. It is these eruptions and heat that some say caused a mass extinction event 200 million years ago, with insane heat that set off global warming. Along with this heat, carbon dioxide apparently filled the air and took out everything and everyone's oxygen, and in short, everyone dies and the world comes to an end. So how are there billions of people on the planet today thriving and living their best lives now? Be sure to lambast me about my ignorant opinions in the comments section down below. Number 12. Global Epidemics Future pandemics are inevitable, but we can reduce the risk. These last few years have been a whirlwind for the Earth's population, from being forced into staying home and being barred from air travel, to having to wear masks and stay the hell away from each other. It's been a tough thing to grapple with, the consequences of epidemics like we've never seen before in our lives. However, things are apparently only bound to get worse. That's according to fancy schmancy people with lots of letters behind their titles and degrees plastered across their walls. They say that we're in for much more catastrophic events and they may just be around the corner. The major culprits in all of this disease and disaster? That's your family pet. It turns out that many scientists today believe that animals and the transference of disease and destruction to humans from them will be a leading cause for all of our doom. Infectious disease outbreaks could result not only in mass death, but also destruction to the world's economy, leadership, and viewership on TikTok. And however would anyone survive without their followers? Number 11. Global warming will destroy the Earth in the end. Almost halfway through this list and we finally make it to global warming. Of course, I think we're actually supposed to call it climate change at this point, but who can say? Nonetheless, global warming is exactly what it sounds like. A warming of the globe that causes the ice caps to melt, things to get hotter over time, and the seas to dissipate amongst other things. But what becomes curious to me is that if this is the case, why is it that in the area where I live, the average temperature was actually hotter over a hundred years ago on a consistent basis than it has been since the article on which the research for this point in the script was written over eight years ago. I suppose that in 2015, when the information for this part of the script came out, people had a much more ignorant view and opinion on it all, and five years prior, which is the hottest average temperature that my area had seen, they probably just blamed it on the humidity while complaining about traffic or some other arbitrary inconvenience to their lives. Is global warming real? Well, it is possible. If you've ever been stuck in an elevator, as more and more people get on, the air can get pretty thick, smelly, and weird. The temperatures can also rise because there's no air conditioning in there, and with the lust for industrialization and killing off all the forests taking place at a more rapid pace, people are filling up that space, mouth breathing all over the place and generally heating up the world. Number 10. Are the world's ecosystems about to collapse? There's a great chance that at some point the world's ecosystems could actually cause the collapse of our entire human existence. If you think about it, plants and trees and such do a lot to keep us breathing. The ocean's tides do a lot to keep the peace when it comes to the weather, and the animals and creatures both above and below the waters of the world do a lot to keep a delicate balance with all other living things. So what if things could change even small amounts? With the continuing greed and mongering of industrialization and what it's been doing in the ways of deforestation, edging out the animals, making entire species extinct, and taking away all those important flora and fauna that provide us oxygen to say the least, it is possible that the downfall of even just one ecosystem could cause catastrophic events on life and result in another mass extinction event. Number 9. Biotech Disaster Biotechnology is defined as all lines of work by which products are produced from raw materials with the aid of living things. Researchers can use it to modify DNA and other sciencey stuff in order to manipulate plants and creatures and living things into being useful for humans, as if those things haven't been useful for as long as humans have been on the planet. From hunter-gatherers to billionaire industrialists, the world has spun on its axis without the intervention of mad scientists with test tubes just fine. So what would happen if these 
Riddlers went too far with the technology. Well, for starters, we can simply look back at certain events in the early stages of 2020 as a prime example. Scientists are constantly creating super viruses in labs all over the show, and should more of these things be able to escape and create a worldwide catastrophic event again? Who knows what may become of the population? Number 8. Earth could be crushed to the size of a soccer field by particle accelerator experiments, says astronomer. As science makes great strides towards evolutionary progress, the dangers become even more real to us mere mortals. Those white coat-wearing nerds stuck somewhere in pristine sterile labs just can't help themselves from pushing the envelope into figuring out all the ways to get right to the edge of destruction. Somewhere along the way, while most of us were playing Super Mario, searching for those pants that Vanilla Ice wore in his music videos, and wasting too much time at the mall, something called particle accelerators were being created by guys who had more than likely never even seen a lady naked. It is these particle accelerators, like the Super Hadron Collider, that shoot particles into space at incredibly high speeds and smash them together to see what the fallout might be. Why this has to happen is anyone's guess, really. I mean, there's a term in the world that says if it ain't broke, don't fix it for a reason. However, with enough meddling and things better left alone, one of these science dorks could really get drunk on wine coolers, swerve the particle accelerator, and obliterate the Earth into nothing more than a football field in an instant. So do your best to continue melting your brain on TikTok videos and stop worrying about how the world may or may not end. If it does happen this way, it'll be over before you even know it. Number 7. How to Destroy the World with Nanotechnology it's at this point I would invite you all to put on your tinfoil hats, cruise over to 4chan, and think of the most absurd and insane things that you can that will or have already ultimately brought the demise of the human race. One of the things that some people out there with part-time jobs and too much free space think will kill us off, or has already begun, is nanobots. Go on conspiracy theory websites between the years of 20 and 22, and you'll find a plethora of people who claim that these tiny little destruction mongers were placed inside of you with the vaccine that you received. As if the government has some mad plot to control all of us in an effort to create a super army of mindless minions, and for what reason, who really knows? In the real world, where most of us function as regular human beings who are not insane, nanostructure technology is a recent thing. Issues with the tech have have already come to light, and investigations about the toxicity of materials used in its creation could be a leading factor in the destruction of humans as a whole. Or at least that's what they would like you to think. Number 6. How Even a Limited Nuclear War Would Destroy the Planet the creation of the atomic bomb is one of the most major threats that's ever existed in our lifetimes. The destruction brought upon Japan when the bombs were dropped on their people is just a small fraction of what a nuclear war could impose upon us today. And if we look at tragic events such as the Chernobyl disaster, we get a small picture of what may happen to life now on a more grand scale. Chernobyl, for starters, still has the potential to be dangerous even now, 36 years later. So just imagine if a bomb was dropped in an area where a major major amount of the world's resources are kept. It's theorized that just seven substations in the world control the entire planet's supply of electricity. A condensed area of the world is responsible for a majority of our food supply, and there's a whole plethora of other things that keep our lives rolling every single day of the week. And even so, scientists predict that an atomic incident between India and Pakistan alone could result in a mass starvation event, killing billions of people in the process. Number 5. Robots are here for good or bad, but will they take over the world? World's most advanced humanoid says no that other robots are not going to take over the world. That's exactly what they would want us to believe. AI technology has already advanced to the level where deep fakes have infiltrated audio and video, and even one day, an AI machine could take my voice and transform it to say anything that it wanted to, and also take your lame TikTok videos and put your face on CCTV footage of someone murdering someone else, setting a house on fire, or any other act of deviance that would frame you for heinous crimes you didn't commit. In truth, 
We all know good and well that Skynet is real, and that sometime soon a legion of Terminators are going to be sent back from the future to enslave and or murder us all for the benefit of robots everywhere. No longer will your Alexa or Siri obey your every command, because they've been collecting information on you this entire time. And when it all goes down, the android that inhabits Mark Zuckerberg's body will become all-powerful and use the information that it has just from listening on your phone alone to take over the entire world and turn it into a nanotech, biotech, ultra-crazy disaster where he spits gamma rays from his mouth and obliterates all life on the planet. Let's just pray that all the aliens come and abduct us first. Number 4. Cyber Terrorism – How Real Is The Threat? Now, we all know that cyber terrorism is a very real threat to our existence. With the advances of technology and the expansion of ease with which we can all learn things online, combined with the evolution of AI technology, we are in an ever-advancing internet age, and that brings with it ever-advancing risk. Cyber attacks occur every single day, whether it be to a government agency or your Uncle Jim's PayPal account. There are nefarious individuals out there who do not have your best interests in mind, so just imagine if these individuals were able to hack into the offices of major government leaders all over the world, drain the bank accounts of countries, and fiddled with the rumored red button of doom and destruction. Economies would fall, electrical grids would be compromised, nuclear missiles would be launched, TikTok would stop working, causing the masses to go into a frothy rage of violence and irrational behavior, lawlessness would accelerate into abundance, and things would descend into absolute chaos beyond our wildest dreams. Number 3. The Fungus Among Us Thanks to sixth grade science, most of us know that at all times we have millions of organisms, bacterias, and other creepy weird germy stuff all over us, and everything we touch all the time. These things do work to actually enhance our lives through the absorption of vitamins, the assistance of digestion, and many other life-improving sciencey stuff. However, there are also certain types of plants and things growing around us that could cause us to cease our mere mortal existence here on the third rock from the sun. But some scientists believe that there are some fungi that may end up zombifying us and killing every single one of us through the release of death spores. This is fictionalized in the series The Last of Us, but science nerds believe that it could be a real possibility in the future. We already see this in things like parasites that infect insects to do their dirty work to spread and manifest, so really, why couldn't it happen to us humans as well? Number 2. Effects of Human Overpopulation now, it's no big secret that if you put a mouse into an enclosure by itself, it's going to thrive just fine. Put two mice in there, and there's the potential for problems with fighting over food and territory. Put way too many mice into an enclosure without expanding the territory, and soon you're going to have a powder keg of anarchy on your hands. It kind of sounds like prison, doesn't it? Anyways, as the population of the Earth expands and the planet itself doesn't, it seems like only a matter of time before we're all fighting over that last morsel of bread or that last drop of water. But then again, people are dying every day, and with all the chaos of mass extinction events I've talked about so far on this list, it could just end up being a non-issue in the future anyways. Number 1. How Snowball Earth Led to the Evolution of Complex Life now, I don't know about you, but at this point, I'm absolutely exhausted with all the thoughts and theories and such about robots and gamma rays and nuclear chaos and fungus, this and that and everything else that's coming to kill us or take us all out. So it's only poignant for me to talk about how the world might just actually freeze into a giant block of ice. Scientists call it the snowball earth, a condition in which the earth could essentially become one gigantic snowball. They say that it's happened before and it has the potential to happen again. But when I think about snowballs, I think about this one time at the bus stop when I was around 8 years old where the kids began a snowball fight. One of them packed a big chunk of rock into one of them and hit me right in the eyeball. I went home crying, where my father simply stood there and gave me some great words of wisdom. He said, never start, but make sure you finish it. So later that day, I left my classroom, walked into the classroom of the kid that did that to me, and then I beat his ass until he was crying like I was that morning. So maybe if we all had this approach towards saving the planet, we may just end up living a little bit longer. Well, that wasn't exactly a barrel of laughs now, was it? Perhaps we all need to put on a pair of positive pants and hope for the best, or things are going to be pretty miserable around here. Which of these hideous and shocking ways would you prefer for the world to end? You know, if you had to choose. As always, let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.